Ladies and gentlemen, another precarious pick. Daisy and I set this cord up. It's a hundred foot of black, three eight braided line. It's about 15 or 17 years old, this line. So I multiple tied it. It's never seen the sun, but it, and it does have grease on it. So it's been protected. And then we have my lifting hook from on time back which is starting to fray, but it'll pick up 2000 pounds. And now I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna put it on the far side of that house. The daisy's gonna hold the air con so it doesn't smack into the rock. She just put this barrier between the air con and the rock. Don't worry about that, honey, we got the blower. And I'm gonna make the pick slow and if you just, if I, if it needs to be adjusted, you just turn it a little bit, yeah? Okay. There's the aircon hole.
turn it towards the house. All right, now, I'm going to move it over a little bit. Just hold on. Nice job, Daisy. Nice job. Very nice. Okay, can you get the hook off yet or no? Yeah. Okay. All right, don't. All right, take the hook off and I'm gonna swing the machine around no, no, just unhook it, yeah, or not no, yet. No. No, it's off? Okay. Now you, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, baby. All right, you got to take the top one off, too. Now, it can sit on top of the air con. It won't hurt it. There's three half hitches and three turns. One should be loose yeah well as you can see the air con is in I didn't need to let you see me pull the ropes off which took took 15 minutes so another job another day in the Philippines another day in I wouldn't call this paradise but it is a heck of a nice place to live so-called scholars and or theologians, I give any of you on the planet Earth the chance to read my book and then prove me wrong. And if you do, you win $10,000. Because I state unequivocally that my discovery, that what you are looking at right here is a perfect depiction of the Ark of the Covenant on the $1 bill. I state that no theologian on Earth and no so-called scholar of religion or theology can prove me wrong. And my book, Angels on the Ark, by Michael Fazio, proves that this depiction on the reverse of the $1 bill is an exact replica 
of the Ark of the Covenant in pictographic form and that these words and that these descriptions that you see on your screen, stop your camera, cannot repeat, cannot be proven wrong. And if you prove me wrong, you can take $10,000 and do whatever you want with it. Give it away, buy a car with it, but if you lose, you have to pay me $10,000. And I state that no theologian or scholar from any religious institution or society on the planet Earth can prove a single word of what I just said wrong. You have to be a scholar, vetted, or a so-called theologian, vetted, you have to have $10,000 for the wager and $10,000 for the miscellaneous. I will match that. And if you read my book or if you don't read my book and you think that you can prove that this isn't an exact replica of the Ark of the Covenant, you win $10,000. If you fail to prove that any word that I just said is wrong, you lose $10,000 plus the miscellaneous $10,000 fees to fly people in to have a board and to have a newspaper and video recording of the entire event. So take my money or shut up because nobody on earth can prove me wrong. That's a fact. And this is the greatest discovery of the 21st century. And all of the theologians and scholars of the world will not acknowledge my work because they fear if my work becomes known, it proves everything that the Catholic Church, the Vatican, has said over the last 2,000 years is a total and concise lie in order to well, subdue the masses mentally. Good, bad, evil, God, devil, Satan. It's all bullshit. It's a control mechanism. It's a control mechanism by a race of beings that control the Vatican, that control our government. If they weren't controlling our government, why else would they put a picture of the Ark of the Covenant? I can tell you why they did it. Because the pictographs on the reverse of the $1 bill, which is the Ark of the Covenant, and the other 3,000 pictographs that are incorporated into this single picture you see before you are exact, exacting codices, or an exacting codices represents these icons or iconology pictographs or pictures or ideographs to the words in the King James Bible. And no so-called scholar, no theologian, nobody on earth can prove me wrong. This is the greatest discovery of the 21st century. And the Zionists who control the newspapers, the Vatican and the politicians are all part of a single evil cabal that has ruled this world and turned this world into a series of slave states that we haven't even noticed it until now because they are now reigning in their control to reduce the population so that it's once again manageable like it was uh, before 1960 it was easily manageable the 70s were a little less manageable then they introduced drugs don't get me started with drugs the United States government is the greatest importer of drugs on the planet earth then they started all the wars in the 80s everybody knows this but my theory cannot be proven incorrect my words are God's words to you I have been given the gift to be able to interpret the pictographs on the one dollar bill and be able to write this down in my book and no one on earth can prove me wrong. So if you want to try it, you just knock yourself out, but you need to have twenty thousand dollars to attempt and you can't do it. Nobody on earth can prove Michael Fazio wrong. This theory is sound, solid, and like gold. This is Michael Fazio from Key Largo. It's about 150 degrees where I'm standing, so I'm sweating a little bit. But you'll be sweating when you go on the podium to try to debate me, because my facts are like gold. And a God day to everybody. And my intention is to prove that the Roman Catholic Church is an organization of pedophiles and criminals. So don't make any mistakes. I do this with a plan behind it. Now they can kill me, and I don't really care, but they have to be outed for what they are. 
the control mechanism for this world society to destroy our will to live via religion and theological bullshit and politics and laws. These are all criminals that are ruling this world from behind the scenes. And God day to everybody. And you can kiss my ass if you think you can prove anything that I just said wrong. And this is Michael Fazio from Key Largo saying a God day to everybody. <laughs> you don't even know what God is. Yeah, that's right. You heard it here first, folks. Hey, look, it's Michael Fazio from Key Largo. And Michael Fazio has a $10,000 standing bet that no theologian or so-called scholar can prove that what I am about to say to you is incorrect. Now, I'm going to take this picture off of this magazine, and we're going to look at this picture of the Ark of the Covenant, complete with the angels. And now, I, this is where the bet begins. I, Michael Fazio, state that this Ark of the Covenant that you see before you is represented on the $1 bill. And I have proven this in my book, Angels on the Ark. Now, why you haven't seen this as the greatest discovery of the 21st century is because the Zionists and the pedophiles that run the Roman Catholic Church will not allow my information to become known and global because I have proven in my book, Angels on the Ark, that what you see before you is a perfect characterization and or pictograph of the Ark of the Covenant placed upon the one dollar bill. My words that I just spoke to you cannot be disproven and ten thousand dollars says you can't disprove me. All you need is a degree in theology or religion to debate me in a public forum and twenty thousand dollars. 10,000 for the lawyers, 10,000 for the actual bet, and I will debate you in a public forum. You cannot prove that this is not a depiction of the Ark of the Covenant, and I will tell you why. What you see on top of the Ark of the Covenant are two angels. What you see on the ends of the Ark of the Covenant is the face of, an, of a seraphim, one of the two faces of the seraphim, and when I rotate it, there is the other face of the seraphim. Okay, even if I flip it upside down, there are still two faces of the two ser of the seraphim, the two faces of the seraphim facing before and behind, and then we go to the other side, and then you see the opposite faces facing before and behind. These are the depictions of the seraphim. And the six-winged seraphim, the wings themselves are represented by the what appears to be leaf-like structures that surround the God pod as quoted and coined in my book and the evil seed of death as quoted and coined and copyrighted in my book Angels on the Ark. What you see before you is the table or the mercy seat where the Lord God's Shinka or energy sat and while he was dragged through the desert by the wandering Hebrews. What you see right here is one of the four ringlets that hold the poles of Shittimwood. The pole of Shittimwood is represented by the orange line that runs across the bottom and the white line, because I didn't color it in, that runs across the top. Here is the third ringlet and here is the fourth ringlet. All of the pictures, if you stop your video at any point in time, all of the words on this are proof that my discovery is the greatest discovery in the, of the 20th and 21st century because I actually discovered this in 1999 but didn't publish until 2010 and my book Angels on the Ark is a 1990 page ebook sold by PayPal through GoDaddy website which is a 100 percent secure and safe website for the price of three dollars and ninety nine cents but I can't guarantee that that price is going to remain three dollars and ninety nine cents for much longer it is nineteen hundred and ninety pages six hundred and two thousand words and it is one hundred and thirty pictures of the one dollar bill depicting all of the things that I just described to you in this video I state that this is a picture of the Ark of the Covenant on the one dollar bill and if I am correct and I am then 
the fact that the United States Mafia put a picture of the Ark of the Covenant on the reverse of the one dollar bill is proof positive that this world has been controlled by a remnant race of beings or a society from another world aka aliens and we are their descendants or protege my book proves beyond any doubt that this world has been controlled by the people that control the Vatican and the people that control England and the people that control the United States the real people that control the United States not the MOOC in the White House and not the Congress there is a group of beings that run this world behind the scenes that you never learn about my discovery proves that these beings exist and that this picture or pictograph of the Ark of the Covenant on the reverse of the one dollar bill is how they communicate with each other via the King James Bible my book Angels on the Ark proves every word of what I just said and if it didn't then someone in the last 30 months would have taken my ten thousand dollar Fazio challenge and tried to prove even one thing that I just stated was wrong but the bet is the wager is, I state this as a depiction of the Ark of the Covenant. You need to be a so-called scholar or theologian and vetted in that world of so-called scholarly nonsense. And then you can debate me in a public forum after you put up your $20,000. Now, you can't prove me wrong, and that's why no one's taken my challenge. And therefore, I am correct. And this is the greatest discovery in the 21st century. What you are looking at right now are all of the beasts that are set upon and protect the Ark of the Covenant. What you are looking at right now is a depiction of the mercy seat where the Lord God sat. And what you are looking at right now is an interpretation of the first commandment. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Now why this is done, I cannot tell you. Or I could tell you, but you wouldn't believe me. So I might as well tell you. There has been a group of beings, either remnant society from this world, that has controlled this planet via religion and politics for millions of years. All of the past civilizations that have existed on this planet are all part of that remnant society that has controlled this world. They are the same people, entities, or species of creature, I do not know which, that placed this hog-nosed bat on the reverse of the one dollar bill with a depiction of the skull and bones representing the skull and bones society created in the year 1832 with the number 322 on their dormitory door. The skull and bones society placed a hog-nosed bat on the one dollar bill, but they didn't do it. This bell was created 7,000 years ago, before the Great Pyramid, along with the Ark of the Covenant design and the design for the Great Pyramid. The one dollar bell and the King James Bible were all created by the same race or remnant race of beings that has existed on this world for millions and perhaps billions of years. And on the other side, they placed a perfect depiction of a horned owl. Notice the snoot and the nostrils. Notice the wings that exist over the God pod and the evil seed of death. There are also several thousand other pictographs described in my book, Angels on the Ark. There are bugs, there are things that creep, and there are snakes. There is even a leviathan located in something that you see right here. And I have proven all of this in my book, Angels on the Ark. And yet, even with a $10,000 bet, there is no so-called scholar or theologian on earth that will take my challenge and take my money and then give it to some charity of their choice because they can't prove a single word of what I said is incorrect. And what is holding me back right now are the Zionists that control the movie industry, the newspaper publishing industry, the television industry, and every other form of communication, and now including YouTube, Google, and the Internet. And they are diminishing my work by not allowing it to go global. Some of my videos, especially this video that I call 
the God Pod should have gone global and viral in 10 minutes because what you are looking at here is a depiction of the first 17 verses of the book of Genesis. You are also looking at the evil seed of death on this side and now you are looking at a nuclear detonation over the eagle's head. Now these things are proven in my book therefore I should have gotten the recognition for what I just stated but they refuse to recognize my great discoveries because if they do and it is proven that this is a representation of Satan and I am the first person in the world of all of these so-called scholars and theologians to see this information if this is all proven to be true that means that all of the so-called scholars and educational people in theological societies are all idiots compared to Michael Fazio a carpenter once again a carpenter from Queens New York that speaks with broken English with a broken Brooklyn accent has kicked the ass of all the theologians and so-called scholars on the planet earth and anybody that tries or dares to prove me wrong at any time in the future will get nothing but their ass kicked because Michael Fazio is smarter than any theologian or so-called scholar when it comes to the pictographs and their relationship aka the codex between the Bible and the one dollar bill and anybody that tries to prove me wrong will get their ass kicked in public. I will take their twenty thousand dollars and I will spank them in a public debate. And this is Michael Fazer from Key Largo saying God day to everybody.